Welcome to class. This is our 28th class in first grade. Today, we'll read about a time after Jesus' death and resurrection when some of Jesus' disciples saw him. And we'll make some cookie art and then eat the cookies. Let's begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Come, Holy Spirit, and fill the hearts of your faithful. Light the fire of your love in them. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Sunday, two days ago before class, was the third Sunday of the church's season of Easter. Father Geis and Father Hammond wore white chasubles on Sunday. White is the color of the Easter season. Remember, after Mass, you are always welcome to talk with Father Geis or with Father Hammond. It's a time when you can ask them questions about church or a time when you can just talk to them. Let them know who you are. They would really like to get to know you. At Mass this weekend, the Gospel reading was from the Gospel of John. The reading tells about one of the times when the disciples saw Jesus after he rose from the dead. The name of the story is Jesus by the Sea of Tiberias. Another name for that sea is the Sea of Galilee. It is the same place, just two different names. Now, let's read from your special children's bulletin. Jesus appeared to his disciples when they were fishing. But because he stood on the shore, they couldn't recognize him. Jesus called out to them. What did he ask? Friends, haven't you any fish? Jesus called out from the shore, throw your net on the right side of the boat. When they did, the disciples caught so many fish, they couldn't haul the net in. They caught 153 fish. The disciples realized it was Jesus and turned toward the shore to join him. As soon as Simon Peter heard one of them say, It is the Lord! He wrapped his outer garment around himself and jumped into the water. The disciples came to shore. Jesus cooked them breakfast. After they ate, Jesus and Peter had an important conversation. Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter said, you know I love you. Jesus said, feed my sheep. Remember that on the night the Roman soldiers arrested Jesus and took him away to be crucified, Simon Peter denied being a disciple of Jesus three different times. In this conversation, Jesus gave Simon Peter another chance, a chance to say that he loved Jesus. And then it was snack time. Remember our prayer before meals? Bless us, O Lord, and these gifts that we are about to receive from thy bounty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We made Sea of Tiberias cookies. Maybe your mom would help you make some. You'll need graham crackers, cake frosting that has been dyed blue with food coloring, and small goldfish crackers in different colors. You'll paint blue waves onto the graham crackers using a knife. Then, arrange the little fish on the sea. Eat them up 
and you'll have a blue Smurf mouth. Many artists have painted the story told in the Gospel of John at chapter 21, verses 1 through 19. It's the story of the risen Christ appearing to seven disciples while they were fishing on the Sea of Tiberias. Another name for that sea is the Sea of Galilee. One of the artists who painted that story is Ducio. This piece is called Appearance on Lake Tiberias. We've looked at other works by Ducio before. This painting is part of the giant-sized piece of art that we've looked at before, the Maesta. Jesus is standing on the left. Count the number of disciples in the painting. Below this video, there will be links to much larger versions of this paintings and other paintings that will be shown in this video. Here is the Maesta, the painting of Jesus' appearance on Lake Tiberias is at the top, third from the left. This painting was made by the artist Raphael. He named it The Miraculous Drought of Fishes. The painting shows Jesus on the left setting in one of two boats. The boat is overfilled with fish. Two disciples are in that first boat with Jesus. The second boat has three disciples. Two of them are pulling up a net. See the big black birds standing on the shore? Suppose they're waiting for a fish. This painting is by the Flemish artist named Derek Boats. Flemish means that the artist was from Flanders, a place in the country of Belgium. Belgium is a small country that is northeast of France. The painting was made in the late 1400s, more than 500 years ago. It is called third appearance of Christ. There is something confusing about the painting. Jesus is standing on the shore wearing a brown colored robe. But there is a man standing in the boat wearing a blue robe. And the faces of the two men look the same. Perhaps the artist painted Jesus in two places in the painting. This painting is by an unknown Spanish artist who was in Peru in South America in the 1600s. One disciple is painted twice in the painting. Perhaps it is Simon Peter who jumped into the water to get to the shore quickly after he heard another disciple say, it is the Lord. The artist appears to be showing movement of that disciple. This last painting is by the artist James Tassat. The name of the painting is Christ Appears on the Shore of Lake Tiberias. We have looked at some of the artist's paintings before. He made his art first by drawing with pencils. Then he would paint over the pencil drawing with watercolor paint. The painting shows Jesus on the shore with a small campfire. There are two boats in the water with three men in one boat and four men in the other boat. Jesus has his hands up as if he is motioning for the disciples to come to shore. This week we'll do lesson number 26. It begins on page 217. The lesson is called, How is the Risen Jesus Present in His Church? 
Now let's begin on page 217. How is the risen Jesus present in his church? Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. There is a prayer on this next page. In a group, one person would read the leader part and everyone else in the group would respond where it says all. Because I'm just one person reading, I'll read everything. Follow in your book and you can read also. We celebrate Easter when Jesus rose from the dead. Let us live in the light of the risen Lord. Sing Alleluia, for Christ is alive. Forever we will sing Alleluia. Jesus Christ, your death on a cross was not the end for you. And because of your resurrection, we will live with you forever. Forever we will sing Alleluia. Lord Jesus, our hearts are filled with love. It is the love of your light in us. Forever we will sing Alleluia. We share the light of the risen Christ with our families and friends. Forever we will sing Alleluia. In class, the children ask, what does the word Alleluia mean? Alleluia. Another way of saying that word is Hallelujah. It means praise the Lord or praise God. God fills our hearts with Easter joy. The Easter season lasts for 50 days. It begins on Easter Sunday. During the Easter season, we are glad because Jesus is risen. We sing Alleluia to show our joy. The priest wears white vestments. White is the Easter color. A special Paschal candle is blessed during the Tridium at the Easter Vigil. All through the season, this candle is lighted. The candle reminds us of Jesus. He is the light of the world. We give thanks to God because Jesus is risen. We decorate the church with plants to remind us of new light. Easter is a joyful time. On page 20, there is something from the Gospel, from the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 1 through 10. I'll be the narrator and read. Another person will be the voice of the angel and the voice of Jesus. Mary Magdalene and another Mary went to the tomb of Jesus. They wanted to visit the place where Jesus was buried. Suddenly, the earth shook. An angel came from heaven. The angel rolled back the stone from the tomb. Do not be afraid. The angel knew they were looking for Jesus. The angel said to him, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, Jesus is not here, for he has been raised just as he said. Mary Magdalene and Mary looked into the tomb. Jesus was not there. They ran to tell the other disciples what happened. Mary Magdalene and Mary met someone on their way. It was Jesus. They knelt before Jesus. Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were so happy, they ran to tell the other disciples the good news about Jesus. Jesus is risen from the dead. At Easter, 
we remember that Jesus' resurrection means that we, too, can live forever with God in heaven. In the Catholic Church, the month of May is a special month for Mary, the Blessed Mother of Jesus. For many centuries, Catholics have dedicated the month of May to the Blessed Mother. We remember all that Mary did for Jesus, her joy and her sorrow as Jesus' mother. We often put flowers at statues of Mary, and people make crowns from flowers and put them on statues of Mary. Below this video is a link to a coloring sheet. You can color the Virgin Mary, then color the roses at the bottom and cut them out and glue them on the drawing to make a crown of roses for the Blessed Mother. It's time to say goodbye. We'll end class with our prayers. Remember to read the words as you say them, and remember to listen to others and try to say the words when other people are saying them. It's like dancing. We all try to stay together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, please defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke the devil, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. I'll see you next week. We have only three more classes in first grade. We'll meet on May 10, May 17, and May 24. For our last class, we'll meet in the classroom and walk over to the church for an end-of-the-year Mass. Remember to check in with God by praying. God would like to hear from you.